In this video, I'll show you seven time-saving tips for working with shape layers in After Effects. If you double-click the shape tool, it will create a shape that's the size of your composition. I often use this trick with the rectangle tool to create a solid colored background layer. This tip about how to center the anchor point of a layer without plugins actually has four parts. Using the pan behind tool, hold command or control to snap the anchor point to the center, edge, or corner. If you have a full keyboard, use the shortcut to center the anchor point on a layer. Command Option Home on a Mac or Control Alt Home on a PC. Better yet, with the layer selected, just hold Command or Control while double clicking the pan behind tool. If you're sick of having to move the anchor point when creating new shape layers, go to your After Effects settings, then General, and check Center Anchor Point in New Shape Layers. Now a centered anchor point is the default. When creating a shape with the polygon or star tool, as you're dragging out the shape, use the up or down arrows on your keyboard to increase or decrease the number of sides or points. This works in Illustrator too. The next time you use this tool, it will create a shape with the same number of sides or points that you used last time. You can always go into the layer and adjust or animate the number of sides or points after you've created the shape. Hold Option or Alt and click the box next to the word Fill or Stroke to cycle through the different options. This tip actually works for all these tools. So instead of clicking and holding to view all the options, you can cycle through holding Option or Alt and clicking. But an even faster way would be to learn the keyboard shortcut for the tool. And those are listed when you click and hold the tool. So for example, the shortcut for the shape tool is Q. If you press Q multiple times, it cycles through the different shape tool options. You can convert a text layer to a shape layer. Right click the text layer, then go to create, then create shapes from text. This will turn the text layer into a shape layer and each letter will be in its own group. So each letter is converted to a path that can be adjusted or animated to create something unique. There are two ways to create shapes with rounded corners. If you have a parametric shape like a rectangle, polygon, or star, there's a roundness property that you can adjust or animate. You could even animate a morph between a perfect square and perfect circle or vice versa by animating the roundness property. This could also work between polygons or stars and circles too. Or if you don't have the roundness property because you have a more organic bezier shape, you can go to the add button and then select round corners. Now you can adjust or animate the radius property to round any shape. The last tip is to understand the difference between parametric and bezier shapes, so you can pick the best one for what you're trying to do. I made a whole video on that topic, so be sure to check that out next.